Здесь одна тачка сгорела. Просто сгорела. Просто тачки не осталось. Качество блечу. Ой, блядь, и буханку тоже. Iran may target Israeli nuclear center in Dimona. Iran may target the nuclear research center in Dimona in case of Israel's attack, the Iranian state-run press TV channel said, citing military experts. According to the television channel, during Iran's recent attack on Israel that followed Israel's strikes on the Iranian consulate in Syria, Iranian missiles and drones managed to get through the Israeli multi-level air defense system and hit military targets in the Negev desert just a stone's throw from the Dimona Nuclear Research Center. Military experts polled by the channel believe that this center can be a target for Tehran in case of a threat from Israel. Ahmad Hag Talab, the commander in charge of nuclear security at Iran's elite military force known as the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, said that Tehran has identified the location of Israel's nuclear centers and will be ready to destroy them in case the Jewish state responds to the recent Iranian attack on Israeli military facilities. Recall, on the evening of April the 13th, Iran launched dozens of drones and missiles toward Israel in response to what it called repeated crimes from Tel Aviv, including the attack on the consular office of the Iranian embassy in Damascus, ascribing to Israel. Tehran said the military facilities in Israel were targeted. The Israel Defense Forces claimed it intercepted 99% of the nearly 350 projectiles launched at Israel. The United Kingdom, the United States and France helped Israel repel the Iranian attack. Following the attack, Israel said it was looking at a retaliatory move. Tehran, however, pledged it doesn't plan to continue attacking Israel and doesn't want further escalation, but is ready to use a more deadly weapon to retaliate Israel's possible attack. Iranian media reported on April the 19th that three drones were shot down over the Isfahan province. Meanwhile, an unnamed Israeli official told the Washington Post that the raid was meant to demonstrate Israel's ability to hit targets in Iran. Israel asks U.S. for more ammunition as tension with Iran rises. Israel is asking the U.S. for more tank ammunition and tactical vehicles, three people familiar with the matter said, as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government looks to replenish its stockpiles amid the war in Gaza and increasing tensions with Iran, Bloomberg informs. Three anonymous agency sources stated that the request was made on April the 19th. According to them, the U.S. administration has not yet begun an official assessment. The State Department and National Security Council declined to comment. The agency notes that this request is separate from the request of an additional $95 billion in funding that Congress plans to pass this weekend to provide military aid to Israel and Ukraine. One official said that the U.S. has not yet begun the process of reviewing the request, which in any case will take many months and does not guarantee a sale. According to one official, most of the sale will consist of tank ammunition, with the other part being the Oshkosh core family of medium tactical vehicles. 
The agency notes that the new request also differs from a previous request for the sale of over 1,500 pound MK82 bombs and over 1,250 pound smaller diameter bombs as well as fuses for other munitions which are still awaiting approval from Congress. If approved and a contract is signed, these munitions will not be delivered before 2025. As Bloomberg notes, any such request will once again put the Biden administration in a delicate position as the White House chief has stated that American support for Israel's defense is ironclad following the Hamas attack on October the 7th, 2023. The Wall Street Journal reported earlier that the administration was weighing the request for $1 billion in 120mm tank ammunition, vehicles and mortar rounds. Israel's need for additional weaponry intensified on April the 13th when its air defense, supported by the US, the UK and other countries intercepted around 300 drones and missiles launched by Iran. This raised concerns of an escalation and heightened fears of a wider war in the Middle East region. On April the 19th, Israel retaliated by striking a radar system near the airport in the Iranian city of Isfahan.